Hi guys, welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Alan from Premiere Pro Tips. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys um, how to zoom in. So this works especially well in interviews. So for instance, here I have a video <coughs> of uh, three guys. It's actually my uncle on like a mission trip that he goes on. And the guy on the left here begins talking. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to zoom in on him while he's talking, and then we're going to zoom out afterwards. So there are two ways to do this. There's like an easier way and a more difficult way. Um, so the first way, that's the easier way, what it does is it goes from being zoomed out and then it just immediately zooms in on him. So we'll start with that one. So we're going to find the point where he starts talking. We'll say it's like right here, even though it's a little after. But um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the point where, it start, where he starts talking on the um, timeline using uh, just use, using this little red line thing, you know. And um, so I'm going to stop at the point where I want it to start zooming in. So then I click, I, I grab my razor tool and I click where I want it to zoom in. And then I'm also going to go further down and the point where I want it to zoom out, if any, I mean you don't have to have it zoom out, but if you do want it to zoom out then you're going to cut another point where you want it to zoom out. So we have three pieces now. We have um, zoom out, zoom in, and then zoom out again. So, good thing is that with the zoomed out parts, we don't have to touch it. But the zoomed in one, we're, we're going to have to change some of the parameters. Um, so, I'm going to click on the one that I want zoomed in. And um, I'm going to be in the effects controls. So, under the effects controls, we have the video effects of motion, opacity, and time remapping. So, we're going to go under motion. So, um, here in the motion one we're gonna have to adjust the positioning and the scale um, so what we want to do is we want to reposition it and scale it so that this guy right here is the center of attention so first of all I'm gonna scale it so make sure that the correct video or the correct uh, piece of it is selected right there as you can see it's a little darker so it is selected so we're gonna want to go under scale we're gonna grab it and we're gonna um, click and drag to the right and what that'll do is it zooms it in some so like let's say that's how much we want it zoomed in on him and then we're also going to reposition it so if you just click on the motion part right there it'll um, you'll get like this I don't even know what it is like a crosshair kinda and then uh, you can just click and um, grab it so like as you can see right there now he's centered on the video and then so yeah that's basically it for the easy one I'll play it back so you guys can see how it looks so zoomed out he's talking then it zooms in on him and as you can see it's a really like quick transition some people are looking for that though so if that's what you're looking for then that's one way um, another way that people like it is so that it's a smooth transition so instead of it going from straight from zoomed out to zoomed in it gradually um, does that so for that I'm gonna move to my other video clip down here so we're gonna disregard this one now so the beginning part where it's zoomed out and then we're going to want to um, use keyframing to have it gradually zoom in so make sure that the correct clip is selected as you can see it is right now and then under the video effects and motion tab once again we're going to be using the positioning and scale but instead of cutting the video we're going to use keyframing so um, there's uh, the toggle animation for positioning scale so we're going to want to move to the point where we want it to start zooming in and to click both of those right there and I'm just gonna make this a little smaller so you guys have an understanding of the keyframes um, and when you press that you should get these two uh, like diamonds if you will um, and then next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna move a little bit forward to the point where I want it to be so it's gonna start zooming in from here and so I'm gonna move forward to the point where I want it to be fully zoomed in so we're gonna say that's like right here Next, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to reposition and rescale it. Just make sure that these are still pressed here. So I'm going to increase the scale once again to, we'll make it even more zoomed in for this one. And then also reposition it. So I'm going to click the motion tab or the motion effect once again until I get the cross here. I'm just going to grab it and move it so that it's centered on him just like so 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 far what we have I'm gonna go back so so far we have it zoomed out and then right now we reach the point where it starts zooming in and then it zooms in on him 
and we're gonna have it so he talks for a little bit. So at the point where you want it to start zooming out, you, we want to position it right there. So let's say right here is the point where I want it to stop or start zooming out. So I'm gonna move the, um, I don't even know what that thing's called, but just basically where you're at in your timeline, you want it to move it there. And then we're gonna press these buttons right here, add slash remove keyframe. So we're gonna press that one for each of them. It's gonna give you another pair of diamonds. And then we're gonna move and move to the part where we want it to be fully zoomed out. So let's say right there. So I just moved it a little further along, along the timeline. And then I'm going to want to uh, reposition it back to where it was. So one way of doing this is, uh, so these two keyframes right here, these remind the video that, hey, I want it to be this size right now. So since we're going back to that, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag and I'm going to basically grab both of them. And then I'm going to right click and press copy. Then I'm going to deselect and press Control V, or you can just press Paste, and it pastes the same. So those same ones right here. Um, so just to recap, so this is the one that says Zoom Out. This is the one that says Begin to Zoom In. And then um, this in between space it says Hey, stay the same. And then it says Start Zooming Out until we're back to the original. So you're going to want. Um, total of four sets of keyframes um, to get this effect. So I'm just going to go back and press play. So it's going to be normal. It's going to zoom in on him while he's talking. And then it's going to start zooming out back to the original. So yeah, that's how you do the whole zooming effect. Um, if you guys have any questions or if I was unclear, please let me know. Um, you can either send me a message or um, leave a comment. But yeah, I'm Alan from Premier Pro Tips, and thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.